Hi friends, my name is Borro Dante and welcome to the Centipede Stage 3. So this is the progress and here are your suggestions. Work on the armpit. Bring it higher and fix the shape of the bicep. I kind of figured out what's wrong with it, so we'll try it out, although I still haven't done the studies. I'll do them this week. Translucent skin with blue veins visible. That's a good idea, I think it's gonna look awesome. This hand, someone said it's anatomically wrong and the fact that the nails blend with the skin is not cool. I don't know, I like it, but we'll see. Maybe we'll change something, but I'm not sure. Nails on the other arms are going to be broken and the hands themselves are going to be more dirty because those are the walking hands. I guess we should add more dirt in here as well. It's a good idea to go with dirt a bit. We'll have a lot more dirt all over the place and more of the highlights as well. The character should look wet. Now, the back part should be bigger and it should be better adjusted to the perspective. I guess that's fair enough. I haven't really thought on it well enough yet. So, let's start with armpits maybe. Oh, I forgot to mention the stitches should have more branches and look more painful. Well, I guess. Don't want to do it too much though. Okay, I think it's way better now. Not sure if I completely figured it out, but this way bicep was ridiculous. Yeah, this is way closer to reality. Let's see, maybe something to fix here as well. Now, for this one as well. Okay, this is looking way better. Still should work a little bit on the light, but holy crap. I was so off with the shape of the bicep. Like, I was always thinking, it's connecting somewhere to the ribcage, because that's how things work. No, it's not, you moron past me. The bicep connects two bones of the arm, it has nothing to do with the ribcage. It's kind of dragging the limb towards the ribcage, and that's how it's creating the bend on the hand on the arm. But yeah, that's true, yet it's being connected a lot higher, so the arm doesn't look ridiculously wide around the armpit. And that's where we get the actual justified shadow of an armpit. It's nipple time! <laughs> now, Armpins taken care of for now. Everything else is kind of small details. Let's go through the whole body with big details. Because everything after the second guy is just a silhouette yet. So let's fix that. Seems much better. We'll fix the rare part a bit later, of course. It's weird trying to figure out the shadow and the fog. It's kind of like you should make the color darker every time, like this, but also blend it together with the fog a little bit more. But how much more? No one knows. This seems appropriate. The darker it goes, the more bleak, the more pale it becomes, because the fog starts to take over the color. Okay, should make this part go a bit more softly into the darker shading. I remember there was a suggestion to make the background darker. I kind of did that after I finished the previous stage actually, but let's maybe try make it even more dark. Kind of like this, right? Looks pretty cool, because the character becomes darker and darker and the background is like, nah, I don't care. It's not fair. Now, let's do this pair of arms, of hands specifically. Let's try not to get too much into details, but we have to make them dirtier and with broken nails. I think they might be all broken, because it doesn't really make much sense for them to have manicure. The top ones kind of, well, they're not working with them or anything, so... That kind of makes sense. 
Now let's take care of this one. It's interacting with the surface which makes it a lot harder to figure out the geometry. I guess that's the problem I have with feet as well. It's not like the feet themselves are harder. No, it's just that they always stand on a surface and it makes it for some reason a lot harder. Okay, kind of like that. Not perfect, but I feel like I figured it out more or less. This one's even better, because it's not touching anything. Now let's do that one, the weirdest one. <laughs> it's kind of only touching the ground with the fingertips, kind of like this sort of a thing. I don't know, Spider-Man style. Should be slightly bigger. Even bigger, huh. Something like that. Yeah, it fits this one, because this is that arm, actually. Where is its shoulder at all? We should add some kind of shoulder in here. Okay, so far so good. Going through the limbs, it's kind of fun. I don't know how long it took. Has it been 20 minutes or 4 hours? Well now, let's dedicate today's episode to the whole rare portion of the character. Because I realized like most of the comments were considering different details and details should not be done so quickly when the background is still <laughs> like fucking spots. So yeah, let's fix the bump part and then, I don't know, make sure that the whole rare portion actually works. And I guess that will be it for this episode. We really have to make this thing work in the back. So let's do that. Now, the back. It obviously looks too stiff and geometry is kind of weird. Although I sort of implied with the uh, sketch that the surface is not even or kind of at the angle. So camera or horizon is kind of like this. I'm erasing the character. Awesome. But let's experiment a little bit with the rare part. Someone, I think, in Level Up group said that the back part looks a bit funny, like comic, so it doesn't really fit. Well, I wouldn't say comic, it looks too ungraceful comparing to arms, for instance. Well, this is kind of what I wanted it to be, because this is sort of a Freudish context here. It's supposed to look, you know, waiting for something. <laughs> so maybe make the whole thing a little bit bigger in the back. No, that looks kind of weird, I don't know. I think this leg should kind of like stretch away a bit, or maybe that one. Hmm. Let's try straightening up the rare leg. Now for the back leg. Let's add a little bit more space for the legs. Because I don't know about the buttocks, but the legs themselves are definitely too short. Let's increase that. Or maybe like this. Not really. At the most distant part, like that rare leg, I'm actually using just the fog color as the shadow. I guess it's fair enough to do so. Maybe mix in a little bit to smooth the transition. Yeah, by the way, the legs should totally look to the side, and I was always painting them like at this geometry, which is super weird. I guess we should go straight like that. Now I really want the shadow on the ground. Let's make some kind of a hint of the shadow. Very accurate one, not really paying attention to the surface or anything. It just has to make it feel like he's actually touching the surface. Now let's add the pants. Those, I forgot what they're called already. Fundoshi, yes. Let's add Fundoshi underwear. Uh-huh, so the knots are here and here, and that's it. <laughs> K 
kind of cool looking now, as you actually kind of like pay attention to the other parts of the centipede. But this guy deserves a little bit of a stomach hanging down. He's not fat, it's just gravity. Well, I guess this is it for now. Keeping all the suggestions here, except for this one and this one. Right. Tell me what you think, especially about the whole anatomy and geometry of uh, somewhat defined whole body of the centipede. Gotta make sure I'll pay attention to this twist later. This is like a strong twist in here, so there should be something going on. This is gonna be a pretty interesting part. So yeah, this is it. And I thank you for watching if you did. I guess you did if you're here. Leave a like and subscribe. Tell a friend. Wear fundoshi. Do whatever you want. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Actually looks better when it's a bit to the left. And when it's darker. Definitely.